Hello everyone, I would like to start this video by giving my greatest thanks to everyone for helping this channel grow much faster than I thought it would, and that I hope you enjoy the finale of our Risk gameplay. All right, now that baby Don is back from the ledge, I can finally finish kicking his ass. I swear to God, Obama, can we go one game without being super toxic to each other? Don, didn't you spend the entire game last time trash talking me? Guys, can we stop arguing about these shenanigans of the last video and focus on making sure this one is bigger and better? Yeah, like how I am finally bringing free health care back to all Americans and liberating from devious Don. Jesus Christ, Obama, this Kenyan invasion has to stop somewhere. You're going to turn us into a third world country if you keep this up. Anyway, going back to the actual game, it looks like Obama has left himself open to attack by Joe in the south from Mexico. Ha! A Democratic leaving our southern borders open to an invasion. How funny art imitating life, huh, Obama? Jesus fucking Christ, Don, I'm going to shove my fist up your... All right, I think we had enough of that conversation for now anyway. It is Joe's turn, so what are you doing right now, Joe, if you care to explain? Well, while I definitely hold an advantage in North America, I don't think it is enough for me to be able to advance easily and hold it over multiple turns. So I'm going to hold my strong point in Mexico and use this turn to fortify my foothold in Africa. Pretty simple, to be honest. All right, good job explaining, Joe. I think that sounds like a very reasonable plan. I think I am going to focus on securing the continent bonus in Australia this turn. You should probably unmute Obama so he can talk while you attack him. Good point. Holy shit, finally. Now, now you know how it feels to be censored by the liberal media. Donald, he is literally a fucking former Republican president. What the hell do you mean, liberal? Can you guys stop arguing for just five seconds? Oh, my God. Fine, Joe but only because it is finally my turn and I'm going to show George the cowardly dog and Joe, the defender of the realm of the adult diaper who is boss with my genius strategic brain and I am going to win this game here and now. Wow, that entire villain monologue for a single province? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I think I expected a lot more than that with that whole speech you just gave Donnie. You guys are just being greedy. That is a very average size of growth during a turn. What did you just say, Donald? Anyway, it is finally my turn, and I think it is finally time I show this president what an operation for freedom looks like. Oh, God, no, Obama. Think of the children. Don't do it again. I swear to God, it was one time I used an attack drone on children, and you will never let me live it down. What the fuck do you mean, just one time, Obama? You did it so many times, Wikipedia had to add a specified part of the death list for children. I, uh, I, I don't even know what to say here. God. Let's just focus on the game from now on. Agreed. Anyway, I'm going to take this turn to secure my hold on Africa and get a continental bonus in Africa, which will act as a springboard for my eventual victory in this game by giving me the coveted double continent bonus. Bold plan, Joe. It would really put us in a pickle if you pull it off, as I will have Trump Obama. And now you to worry about on my borders, and Trump would have a similar situation. And Obama, well, let's just not talk about him for a bit, I guess. Come on, guys. It was like seven years ago. No, Obama, you know what you did? You stay silent for a bit with your Nobel Peace Prize. Moving on to the actual game, does anyone have an actual plan to stop Joe from getting a double continent bonus? Or are we screwed here? Not to worry, Ordinance Obama, the great Don, always has a foolproof plan. Is that why we had to wait a week to finish our game since you smashed both of your keyboards? Yes, Joe, actually it was. See, it was all planned to give me more time to formulate my master plan to defeat all you, because even though you are easy pickings for my great mind, I still need time to turn my genius into perfection. While you were on your second villain monologue of the night, I used the card system to get a bonus army. And now I'm going to use that large army to finally be able to lift your fat ass out of North America. Damn. I never thought I would see the day Donald was finally pushed out of the land he wasted so much time and energy to protect. Well, at least not this early in the game. Don't worry, this was all part of Devious Don's master plan, and I will return to liberate the American people from the rule of the Kenyan Empire. Well, while you two bicker, I'm going to seize the United States since I have some bonus armies to spare, and I'm going to return the real United States president, none other than Kamala, Kamala Harris. Harris. You know what, I won't even bother arguing this time. All right, anyway, it's time for the Bush bonus. Let's go. I'm going to secure that ever so elusive Asia bonus to counter Joe's bonus. Damn, I was hoping to invade North America, but it looks like I am out of men. 
but at least I was able to secure Asia during this turn, which will help me a lot in securing a long-term victory if I am able to hold on to this territory. All right, it is time, make or break. I either secure a win in this term or I lose the game, but whatever happens, at least I know I did my best and we had fun. Oh no, Joe, you messed up. When doesn't he fuck up? You could have defeated Bush in Asia and prevented his bonus and decimate Don, but you let that chance slip away, fuck. I think Bush is gonna win here. Have some faith, guys. While that was certainly a major blunder, I think it is still anyone's game here besides you, of course, Obama. Fuck off, Bush. Okay, love you too. I think it is finally time for my revenge. I admit I cannot win, but between Diaper Joe, audience Obama, and my brother-in-arms, George Bush, savior of Iraq, I have to go with George every time. Oh, so when George gets a bunch of civilians killed, it's fine, but when I do the same thing, suddenly I am a super villain. They're finally Obama gets it. Why, what's the difference? Is it because I'm a Democrat? No, it's because you're black. Don your ass has until I count to 10 to take that shit back. Yeah, or what are you gonna do? I have 100 armed security One, guards in my two, house at all three, times. What four, the hell are you five, gonna do? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here I come, you little shit. See, he is still playing his turn. I am fine, guys. So what is the plan to defeat Biden, George? Why are you guys teaming up on me anyway? Hey, Trump, can you mute your mic when you're not talking something really loud is going on at your place? George, my bad. Probably some Oof. renovations or something. Wait, Obama, how did you get in here? Oh, shit. Oof. 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 Help me, someone. No, it's my turn right now. Sorry, Don. I'm sure Bush can help. Sorry, Don. Now it's my turn. I can call the cops after my turn, though. Unless Obama is almost done with that whole thing. Yeah, I am just about done with him. I'm going to play my turn on his computer, though, so I don't miss it. All right, sounds good, Obama. I think you're next. Sweet. Damn, it looks like George put me in my final position to do my final offensive this turn. Although, I think I did put up a good fight. This was certainly fun playing with you all, though. Yeah, you were a worthy opponent. Obama don't feel bad. Damn, it looks like my position isn't great, but I think I can get second, though, but... Bush having Asia and Australia soon isn't great for me, and Don being held down and getting revenge for no reason is making it worse, to be honest. For now, I will defend what I can and hold out as long as I can to represent our soon-to-be-fallen friend, Obama. Good job, Joe. I believe in you. Oh, hell yeah, I can stop his bonus for next turn. Let's fucking go, lads. Gotta hand it to you, Joe. You have been a really good opponent this turn and have made this game really fun. And no matter how the next turn between you and me goes, I respect the challenge and I can say we all won in some way. Thanks, Bush, that means a lot. Hey, I'm Obama, just wondering, is Don still alive? I will be fine, not that you douchebags would care. Sorry, Obama, looks like this is the end for you. Good game, man. Yeah, good game. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Night, Obama. Burn in hell, you Kenyan bastard. And then there were three. It is time for the final ride of democracy, the final ride of hope of true Americans. The final charge, my final stand, my Thermopylae for this well defend and this banner shall ride off into the sunset for I shall not die defending, I shall die on the battlefield in glory with my men. Did I just watch Don lose his entire army taking two provinces while taking like double the casualties after a third villain monologue? Well good game Joe, whatever that was ensured you would only get your North America bonus compared to my plus seven Asia and plus two Australia but good game man don't feel bad. I may be down, but I'm not out. I'm going to fight on until the last province, George, for my name isn't. Uh, what is my name again? I frog or it again. Christ, Joe, I have severe brain damage. After that gorilla, Obama beat the shit out of me, and I still remember everything. How much fucking brain loss do you have? Don, I'm pretty sure you already had brain damage. Also, did you just call Obama a black guy, a gorilla? Shit, you are putting words in my mouth. I never said that. I may have dementia, but I remember you just said, and I quote, uh, shit, I forgot again. See, even Joe doesn't remember, and he has the memory of an elephant. So if he can't recall I said it, then I never said it. Whatever, let's just finally end this game. It is like 11 o'clock at night at this point, and I am tired, so I'm just going to try hard these last few rounds. Wait, you weren't trying before? Does that mean we all just suck? Well, Joe, for a beginner, you did really well, if I'm being honest. Obama was ass. I'm not going to lie, though. Ha, get wrecked, Sleepy Joe. Now you're the one getting plowed from behind. 
Your what pause? No way, Jeroge, let's ally, and we can just say we both won this game as a team. Hey, now, I think I'm going to kill you first, though, because you are the bigger threat. You are right, George. He is really big. Jesus Christ, let's just finally finish this fucking game already. I'm going to move in from Greenland and consume Europe, then swing south next turn to wipe Joe off the map. There's no way I die before Sleepy Joe. This is fake news. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? What do I do? Did he just jump out the fucking window over losing a game of risk? It would appear so. That guy really has some issues. I will go check on him after this. He only has a two-floor house. He should be fine, probably. Although his weight might have caused him to fall straight into the core of the earth upon falling. Well, now that all of those people are gone, I do think you played really well, Joe. You have a strategic mind capable of thinking ahead. I think you would be great at some other games like chess if you want to play sometime with me on the VC, but good game, and you did put up one hell of a fight to the very end, like you said. Sounds great, Bush. I will be sure to do that sometime, but I gotta head to bed. It's pretty late right now, and I can't forget to make sure Donald isn't dead tonight or tomorrow. All right, good night. Good night. I want to again thank everyone for watching and to please subscribe to help the channel grow. Hours of work go into editing each one of these videos, so I really appreciate it. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to see any specific games and like the video. I hope you all have a pleasant evening and I will see you next week for another video.